In this video, I'll be explaining how to put together a skin and moth trap. There are a couple of different types of skin and moth traps you could have. Uh, you could have an actinic one or a mercury vapor one, but these only differ in the type and shape of the bulbs, so this video should work for both of them. The first thing that you should do when assembling your moth trap is to lay a white sheet where you're going to put your moth trap. This will reflect the light off the bulb and make it more attractive to pass the insect. And the next thing you'll need to do in assembling your moth trap is to put together the sides and the bottom of the moth trap. You'll have five different pieces of wood, one of which will be the bottom of the moth trap, which you can put to one side. First of all, you need to put together the sides of the moth trap. These two pieces fit together like this, and you'll get two halves. This bit can be a bit tricky, so you might need a partner to help you with this. Well, that was easier than it usually is. Then you get the bottom of the moth trap and you slide it in like this. And now, the body of, the, of your moth trap should be looking like this. Next, you'll be wanting to put in the uh, egg cartons that you have. This will provide a shelter for the moths during the night. These smaller egg cartons are just from supermarket eggs, and they work quite well. The moths will hide inside these holes here. You can also add these larger egg cartons which came with my moth trap. Although it doesn't really matter which ones that you use. The next step in assembling your moth trap is adding these rectangular perspex terrain covers. So that they stay in place inside your moth trap, you need to add these strips of perspex first into the slits inside your moth trap. You then slide the rectangular perspex sheets down the sides of your moth trap like that. What will happen is that the moths attracted by your moth trap will make their way down here and inside the moth trap. Finally, you'll need to add the electrics to your moth trap. This is where the main differences between mercury vapour bulbs and actinic bulbs come into play. First of all, you insert this length of wood into a trap like this. This is what a mercury vapour bulb trap looks like. An actinic bulb will run along as a tube this, the length of wood like that. You might have a circular perspex rain cover, which you screw 
above the bulb socket like this. This is to make sure that the bulb, which is screwing like this, remains dry. The bulb will be attached to this electric box here, which will in turn be attached to this white plug, which, if your trap is mains powered, will plug into your house. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have any further questions on assembling a skin and moth trap, or in moth trapping in general, then please do leave a comment on this video, or contact me on Twitter.